Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll be pretty quick. Uh, so I'm going to, yeah, and thank you for the intro. Uh, that was basically everything that you need to know about me. Um, and I'm going to talk today about Constellation Brands. So STZ is the ticker. They're a leader in the alcoholic beverages space and they're 70% beer. That's their product portfolio. So primarily a beer company, which is a pretty elastic good. Um, so they don't have a ton of pricing power over that, but they're switching into higher premium, higher margin products, which I'm pretty excited about. And they just had earnings today and they're pretty beat up in the market. Um, and I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, and they're also pretty cool because they're invested in Canopy and we just heard a ton about cannabis. Um, so I won't dive into deep into that, but they had their earnings today pretty beat up because of low forward guidance, but they actually beat on earnings. Um, so I think they're moving in the right direction and, and are pretty well positioned for success over the long term. They have a lot of spending projects in the pipeline. Um, they're planning a lot of projects to move into this higher margin, higher premium portfolio, which is the way to go in the alcoholic beverages space right now. Uh, they're really looking to increase their distribution of beer and also prime themselves to be like the go-to person for these um, more expensive products. And I think that they're also going to be able to acquire some tequila companies, which will be like really good for diversifying their portfolio. Um, and that's just where a ton of growth is going to come from. Um, they're also opportunistic investors. So like as a company perspective, um, I'm really happy that they invested in Canopy, even though it's like a really sucky <laughs> investment. It really hasn't done a great job. It just shows that they're like, going to move on stuff. Um, so like as we see psychedelics, you know, probably enter the market in the next few years, I think Constellation will be able to execute on that before any of the other companies would. Um, so that's what I like about them from a pretty long term perspective. Um, and I also so like the way that I think about companies is profitability times growth is compounded by efficiency. I have a piece on this on common stock that I posted today if you want to like see it. Um, but I think that the profitability for uh, Constellation is going to come from this premiumization process. Their growth is going to come from how they uh, scale out their distribution networks and uh, or from canopy and other psychedelics and then their efficiency is going to come from their uh, distribution networks so they're really primed to, to capture like the changes in the alcoholic beverages market um right now a lot of their sales are driven by volume changes rather than price changes so they're going to be able to use pricing as a lever moving forward uh, which is giving them a lot of upside i think um, and they don't see a lot of cannibalization of uh, across their brands, they actually just see people uh, drinking more, which I don't know if it's like technically a great thing, but uh, that's kind of what they see. Um, and then also like with premium products in general, that's like a really great leverage with consumer psychology, because if you're able to say like, oh, this is a really like fancy tequila, um, you can basically command a lot of pricing power over that and consumers will purchase it because they believe it's premiumized. Um, so we just got a pretty big overview on can cannabis. Uh, so I won't talk about that, like I said. Um, and the efficiency in the distribution system, the only like some of the headwinds I see are like with the PMI and, and some of the commodity pricings, I'm a little bit worried with just companies in general right now. I do think that like they're going to have some headwinds from like glass and aluminum products um, and grapes. Uh, so they have grapes for their wine. They were impacted by the California fires because of that. And that's kind of like dragged down their Q4. Oh, sorry. I didn't know that. Um, we need like a tick, a clock somewhere. Um, but yeah, so I think they're a really great company. Um, I see base case upside of 3.6% into 2024. Thanks. Awesome.